स्टार्ट लिखो टॉपिक लिखो एलिगेशंस अ वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक आई हार्डली हैव टू क्वेश्चंस ऑन इट ओके आई वुड एंड से इट्स अ टॉपिक इट्स एन एप्लीकेशन इट्स अ फीलिंग इट्स अ फीलिंग इट्स नॉट अ टॉपिक इट्स अ फीलिंग ओके इट्स समथिंग दैट यू कैन डू लिटरली वेल एंड प्रेजेंटेड इन द बेस्ट वे पॉसिबल यू यूज एलिगेशन so what happens exactly in allegation i'll tell you start with this let's say there is a shopkeeper he has two types of rice one rice is at rupees 12 per kilogram the other rice is at rupees 16 per kilogram he mixes these two and forms a mixture and the price of that mixture is 15 per kilogram you have to find out in what proportion and what ratio has he mixed these two mixtures okay So what you do is you write one quantity on this side, one quantity on this side, and the mixture in the center, and then just subtract. Sixteen minus fifteen, one. Fifteen minus twelve, three. That's the ratio. That's it. Done. Okay. That's what it is. It's a feeling. It's a beautiful thing to do. Okay. So whatever you have, subtract, and you get the answer. You get the ratio straight. One is to three. You want to reconfirm this? One twelve or twelve? Three sixteen is a forty-eight. Twelve plus forty-eight, sixty. Sixty by four, fifteen. Just got reconfirmed. Okay. So where to use this? This can be used in two types of questions. Please take it down. Type one. Type one question. Okay. In a farm, there are chicken. And deers. Okay, it's a nice farm. Okay, it keeps chicken and deers. All right. Fine. The total number of eggs. Total eggs are fifty. Okay, total eggs are fifty, and the total legs. Okay, the total legs. Are one seventy. Find out how many deers and how many chickens are there. How many deer and how many chicken are there? All right, it's a very simple one. You can you can do it very very uh, like it's a very straightforward one rather I'd say. You can do it a lot of ways. First is form equations and do it. H sorry C is chicken and D is deer. C plus D is fifty. Chicken has two legs. Deer has four legs. That is one seventy. Solving equation one and two, you'll find therefore chicken is something, deer is something. Make a box, <laughs> and that's the answer. Every step we get half a mark. Marks are good, but there's no feeling, so we'll not do it this way. Okay. Another way of sol- solving this is using allegations. What is allegation? What you do is you assume allegation is about extremes. Keep this in mind. Allegation is all about extremes. So what you assume is all are chicken. If all are chicken, how many heads will they have? Fifty heads. How many legs? Hundred legs. So they'll have hundred legs. If all are chicken, they'll have hundred legs. If all are deers, they'll have two hundred legs. Yes. But are all chickens or all deers? No. There's a mix of it, and that mix has how many legs? One seventy legs. Allegate. Thirty. Seventy. Three is to seven is the ratio of of chicken and deer. Total animals how many? Fifty animals. Can you divide fifty in ten parts? Yes. Per part five. If per part five, three parts fifteen, seven parts thirty five. And that is the number of chicken and deer that you have in the farm. <coughs> Clear? The second way of solving it using extremes and allegation. All right. Perfectly fine. <coughs> hmm? So I have chickens. I'll assume all are chickens. All are deer. If I assume all are chickens, there are hundred legs. Assume all are deer, there are two hundred legs. But there are actually one seventy legs only. That's the answer. Okay, extremes. Take one more question. A boy has two types of coins. <coughs> Sorry for this. 
<coughs> a boy has two types of coins no first time only boy has two types of coins 50 paisa and 1 rupee total number of coins is 30 3 0 total amount he has in rupees is 25 find how many 50 paisa coins find how many 1 rupee coins okay so you can assume the extremes assume everything is 50 paisa coins so how many rupees will you have 15 rupees because you have 30 coins assume everything has 1 rupee so how many rupees you have 30 rupees because 1 rupee you have 30 coins so you'll have how many rupees 30 rupees but actually how many rupees the mix of it 25 rupees 5 10 what is the ratio 1 is to 2 that's the answer ok so you have 50 paisa 1 and 1 rupee 2 parts alright are we clear so 1 and 2 you can then find out the number of coins individually if you want to 1 and 2 is basically 3 parts and 30 coins 3 parts is going to be how many 10 per head so 10 and 20 ok so if you have all 50 paisa coins you will make 15 rupees if you have all 1 rupee coins you will make 30 rupees but you don't have all 50 and all 1 you have somewhere in the middle 25 and then you allocate ok simple convenient good way of calculating I'd say ok very brilliant way of calculating by the way, it's not necessary to use allegation here. You can calculate it the way you want to. For example, for example, now if you give me this question, you know how I solve it? I will not use allegation also. I'll solve it in this manner. See, I'll, I'll use logic here. Or I'll use straightforward build up here. I'll use distribution here. I'll say, there are 50 heads, right? Let's assume all our chickens, so I'll get how many, how many legs? 100 legs. But actually, there are how many legs? 170 which means the 70 extra came from whom deers but since i have assumed all of them to be chicken i have counted two legs for the deers also so only two legs more to count right so 70 per head 70 legs are extra and i'm counting two two legs per per, per deer it's going to be how many deers 35 deers and how many chicken 15 chicken so i'll repeat this i assume all are chickens all are chicken They'll make 100, 100 legs. But the legs are 170. Who gave the 70 extra? The deers. How many uh, uh, How many you have to count per deers? Two left per head. Because you've counted two legs already in chicken of that deer. So two legs are left per head. How do you have 70 legs? 35 people are there. 35 deers are required, sorry. Not people, deers. 35 deers are required more. Okay? That's the answer. Same goes for this question. A boy has two types of coins, 50 paisa and 1 rupee. I'll assume all 50 paisa. If all are 50 paisa, I'll make 15 rupees. But he's making how much? 25 rupees. Which means I have how much extra? 10 rupee extra. By the way, I've counted 1 rupee to be a 50 paisa, which means 50 paisa has been counted as a 1 rupee. How much left for the 1 rupee? 50 paisa more. How many 50 paisas will make 10 rupees? 20. And that's the, num that's the number of 1 rupee coins. Okay. So you can assume all to be 50, all to be chicken, you can go the other way around also. You can assume all to be 1 rupee, you can assume all to, all to be deers and go subtracting it. Okay? Yeah? So that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Allegation is not a topic as such. It's nothing like you have to do it this way only. You can do it whatever way you want to. Alright? But the next type I think personally is brilliant when it comes to allegation, type 2. Brilliant. This is very brilliant. Okay. In what ratio two mixtures are mixed? In what ratio are the two mixtures mixed? In what ratio are the two mixtures mixed? If alloy one or rather, in, in, in what ratio two alloys are mixed? Like two alloys are mixed. If alloy one 
has copper and zinc in the ratio 4 is to 5 alloy 2 has copper and zinc in the ratio 3 is to 2 and the mixture has copper and zinc in the ratio 1 is to 1 ok so your mixture has copper and zinc as 1 is to 1 your first alloy has copper and zinc as 4 is to 5 the next alloy has 3 is to 2 you have to find out how are they mixed ok and we will allocate here it is very easy to do allegations here ok you will get the answer in almost instantly you can take any metal you want what metal do you want copper or zinc copper ok copper let us say copper copper is 4 by 9 in the previous one first one is 4 by 9 it is 4 out of 9 parts total in this copper is 3 by 5 in the mixture copper is half yeah alligate but wait a minute before you alligate are you good with fraction subtraction of course not come on I know it ok uh, you are not good with fraction subtraction so we will make these fractions into integers we will multiply every fraction by 90 because 9 5 and 2 is 90 ok we will multiply by the LCM so if I multiply this by 90 how much do you get 40 yes or no because this into 90 we will cancel 10 and 40 what about this into 90 how much 18 3s are 54 how about this into 90 45 now alligate easy now alligate what is this 45 54 9 and what is this 5 so the answer is you will mix them in the ratio 9 is to 5 